Hi friends! Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today um, I'm going to be going over my kitchen essentials, things that I think are definitely necessary to have in any functioning kitchen. This video is great for anybody who is getting married or moving into their very first apartment by themselves. Um, or with friends. So feel free to share this video with anybody that you know that's going off to college or getting married or needs new kitchen appliances. <laughs> Some things I want to go over before we get started. This video is specific to um, small appliances or like things that you use in your kitchen, not big appliances like refrigerators or dishwashers. Those really vary depending on like the size of your kitchen, the size of the space, the holes that are already pre-built for where you're big appliances are going to go, the size of your family, um, how often you cook, what you cook, etc. There's a lot of things that vary between that so I'm not going to go over those today. This is mostly um, small appliances like toasters and things like that. <laughs> there are specific brands that do specific things extremely well and other things that brands don't really matter so much. So I'll go over that kind of when I show things that I consider kitchen essentials if I think that the brand was important in that decision or not. Mostly brands don't matter. This is just the things that I think are important for your kitchen. Something else I will say is that at the end of this video I'm going to be talking about my coffee essentials. I was a barista so these are some things that I feel like are a cheap alternative to getting a full Breville machine or a expensive fancy espresso machine for your home. First thing that I think is a definite kitchen essential is a good pan. So a good pan is great for frying any sort of food on the stove, for steaming vegetables, um, just really anything. So I use a waterless cookware pan. I don't know the exact brand. I think it's Millhouse. House wares or something but a good pan is definitely essential what I love about this pan is that it has layers it has a cast iron core which is great for heating up all over and heating up thoroughly um, it has an aluminum layer which is great for heating up quickly and a stainless steel finish which keeps little bits and pieces of aluminum from getting into your food every time you use your cookware and it also um, helps because I can put it in the dishwasher if I wanted to so I love it. It's very heavy because of the cast iron in it. I love the idea of cooking with cast iron, but not the actual execution of cooking with cast iron. I think it's kind of gross because when you season a cast iron, you're basically just like putting oil and grease into the crevices and every time that you heat it up, it's little tiny pores open and it releases all that oil and grease that's been there since the last time you cooked back into your food, which is also why you can't wash it with soap because if you wash it with hot water and soap, it's allowing soap into those crevices and then when it heats up again, it's letting soap into your food. So this has the benefits of a cast iron by having it heat up very thoroughly, but not the drawbacks of having a cast iron. So yeah, I think this is essential, definitely a good pan and a good large pot for cooking pasta or medium to large pot for cooking pasta. The second thing I'm going to talk about is I wouldn't call it essential for the everyday college kid in their apartment. I would call this essential for anybody that likes to bake, that anyone likes to make desserts, or for anyone that likes to make um, anything that requires a lot of mixing. So like breads, if you're not going to invest in a stand mixer, which we have a stand mixer but it's very heavy and I wasn't going to be able to hold it up <laughs> right now. If you're not willing or able to make the investment of a stand mixer, in which case I do suggest KitchenAid as the brand, the original stand mixer, um, and all the attachments that come with it are really helpful and useful in your cooking endeavors. Um, I do highly suggest getting a hand mixer. I didn't get the hand mixer until our wedding, but I definitely wished I had it in college. I wasn't ready to make the investment of a stand mixer in college, but the hand mixer would have saved me so much time when I make desserts and when I made cakes for my friends' birthdays. So I wouldn't call this a definite need, but if you bake or if you make anything that requires a lot of mixing, then it is definitely essential to have some sort of mechanical mixer. <laughs> Something I do want to say before I talk about this next essential is that kitchen essentials really vary by culture and by the food that you cook. So what is essential for me, being Italian, is definitely a um, pasta maker, like so something that I can send the dough through to thin it out and to mix it. Um, I'm not showing that today because I don't really feel like that's an all over essential, but that wouldn't be essential to somebody who didn't make their homemade pasta, if that makes sense. So this essential, 
I feel like a toaster is essential because I love bagels, I love toast, I love making toaster waffles. The reason I definitely wanted to show this one today is because this is my ideal toaster. This is the best toaster. I actually got it for Christmas. It is wide enough to fit bagels, which is definitely important. It has a defrost button, so if you put like a frozen waffle or if you use Ezekiel bread and you keep it frozen, um, it'll toast that and it'll thaw it at the same time so you don't end up with like a really cold frozen center of your toast. Uh, it also has the ability to toast just the inside of your bagel so you don't have like, it's not all crispy, it's like soft on the outside and crunchy on top. So I'm just gonna rave about this toaster. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is why I put it in this video is just because I think that if you're going to get a toaster, splurging for this toaster, it's kind of expensive, but splurging for this toaster is definitely worth it. It is an amazing toaster. And to go along with it, of course, I have my bamboo toast tongs to get my Pop-Tarts out. I think that these are essential to not burn your fingers because you need to eat the toasted Pop-Tart while it's hot. So if you do any sort of cooking in your kitchen, which I hope that you do cooking in your kitchen if you're watching a Kitchen Essentials video because you kind of need to use the kitchen to utilize these essentials. The next thing that I definitely want to mention is a good knife. Not any knife, not just a like good chef knife at the Walmart, but like a good knife made of steel. Oh my word, it's a game changer. This is my favorite knife. Um, I use it with everything. It is um, high carbon German steel. This is the brand Hammerstall Knives. I love my Hammerstall Knives because it is so quick and easy to cut everything. They cut chicken breast really easily, fruits, vegetables, the knife cuts so easily. Another tip for any knife that you get is to hand wash your knives. Don't put them through the dishwasher in order for them to stay sharp. Uh, what's great about Hammerstall and where we got our Hammerstall knives is that they will sharpen them for us. But I definitely suggest investing in a good set of knives. To go along with um, raving about knives, a good cutting board I consider definitely essential. I um, will have this one to hold up right now because I think having a wood cutting board is really nice because you don't get like little bits of plastic coming up when you cut. They're also, you can season them and you can reseal them and stain them so that they last a lot longer. I think a good cutting board is one that is large so that you can pre-chop all of your ingredients that you're gonna use to make your dinner um, and leave them on the cutting board, which is really nice so that you don't have to keep, you know, scraping things off, dirtying a bunch of bowls. You can just dirty the cutting board and call it a day. Something that I definitely want to mention is if you are somebody that cooks with a lot of chicken or fish or um, chops a lot of onions, you should definitely have separate cutting boards for those because they're very potent and they'll end up in the rest of your food. That is something I suggest, but definitely investing in a good, large, wooden cutting board I feel is a definite kitchen necessity. <laughs> I definitely want to mention a spatula and good set of utensils. These are not all of our utensils, these are just all the ones that fit in my hand right now. Um, having tongs I feel like is really important if you're doing any sort of um, frying of any sort of chicken or you're pulling things off of a grill or you're pulling things off of um, the pan that just came out of the oven. Tongs are really useful. I actually use them every single day that I cook with meat. Um, a spatula for pancakes, a spatula for eggs, um, like the flat spatula and then a spatula for scraping and for um, getting things like cake mixes out. What I love about this Betty Crocker one is that it has baking equivalents or what's it called? It has conversions so if you, if you, okay this is how I use it. This is probably not how you're meant to use it but if my fourth cup is dirty I come over here and I see how many tablespoons I could use to fill up the fourth cup so I don't have to wash my dishes. That's a little life hack for you. Baking equivalents. Anyways, having a good set of utensils is definitely a kitchen necessity. So research, you know, see what, what you cook. I cook a lot of pasta, so I definitely wanted one of these little guys. Um, research about, you know, what you cook and what utensils are used most in that style of cooking. Uh, but definitely invest in good utensils. If you make anything like a salad or you do any sort of baking, make cakes, make cupcakes, anything, 
Actually, if you cook in the kitchen, you should probably have mixing bowls. So I definitely suggest a good set of mixing bowls. I love glass mixing bowls because they can go into the dishwasher. So ooh, making meatballs and you're going to use a bowl and you're going to put all that meat in there. I like to just stick it in the dishwasher and not have to like worry about touching the raw meat while I clean it or worry about like the meat getting on anything else. Uh, but that's just me. I'm paranoid about meat, raw meat getting on things. A good set of mixing bowls is definitely a kitchen necessity and essential for any sort of cooking, whether or not you're baking, whether or not you're cooking dinner, or you're just making a salad for your friends, um, any sort of entertaining. Having a good set of bowls is definitely ideal. Now on to, I know this is everybody's favorite part. I'm going to talk about coffee. The things that I think are definitely essential for any coffee or tea drinker, really. An electric kettle. I didn't know that I needed this until somebody got it for us for our wedding and I am obsessed. Not only does it have like these little buttons for cooking your tea, like whether or not it's green tea, white tea, oolong, or black tea, it has a button for heating the perfect temperature water for a French press, which is my next kitchen necessity for if you um, drink coffee. Having a standard coffee pot is definitely a good investment if you're not very into making coffee or if you want it to be done quick and you don't really wanna to have to worry about how much beans, how, like, how to grind them, like what to do. You just want to be able to stick coffee on, pour some creamer in it, and get out the door. A coffee pot is definitely great investment. If you are a little bit more picky about your coffee, or if you're the only person in your household that drinks coffee and you're making it for one, what I do is I use my French press. Um, it takes about it takes coarse ground coffee, so you have to buy coarse ground coffee. Um, but basically, what I do is this has enough for me to have one cup of hot coffee and then save the rest for two iced coffees the next couple of days. So I love my French press and I definitely suggest having a French press if you are a person that drinks coffee a lot, especially if you like iced coffee but you don't really wanna have to worry about making fresh coffee every single day. I love the French press. It also makes, um, the way I make it at least, makes stronger coffee than my coffee pot makes, like my coffee maker. If you like espresso drinks a mocha pot is a necessity this one makes four shots of espresso i have a small one that makes a single shot of espresso but is dirty because i use it almost every single day that i drink coffee i make it with that if not my french press but a mocha pot is definitely a necessity if you aren't willing to put the big bucks in for a breville machine or some sort of expensive espresso maker um, this makes very tasty espresso. Just remember when you're making coffee with a mocha pot to finely grind your uh, espresso beans so that the water comes through evenly and you get a very nice and just strong enough shot. I definitely suggest getting these and going along with that in order to make your lattes and save a lot of money from not going to Starbucks, a milk steamer. Oh my word. I had been wanting a milk steamer for such a long time and then I ordered this one on um, Amazon I think and it has changed my life. I use it all the time. I love it so much. So if I were to put this attachment on it would create a lot of foam so I can do everything from cappuccinos to lattes. So as far as coffee essentials go, I definitely suggest getting a milk steamer. So that's my rundown of everything that I find essential in my kitchen. I hope that this video is helpful for you if you are planning to move into an apartment soon, you need to buy stuff for your own kitchen, or if you're getting married and you want to buy stuff for your family. It would make my heart super, super happy if you subscribe to my channel for more of my videos and turn on the notification bell so that you are notified when I post. And if you know anybody that would really benefit from listening to this video, I'd love it if you'd share this with them. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below what your number one thing that you use every day in your kitchen. I'd love to know. I'll try to link everything that I mentioned um, in the description box if I can, if I can find it. If you have any of these products or get any of these products, I'd love it if you tag me on Instagram so that I can see them. Um, I'll put my Instagram handle somewhere. That's the end of my video. Okay, bye.